I started taking stock of my life. What have I done? What have I accomplished? Where was my life at? And I had this uh, growing photography business, had just gotten a master's degree, had some money, I had just bought a home. I was like, wow, things are going really well. But internally, I was a mess. That prompting uh, allowed me to see that I didn't want to continue this way. I had to somehow get um, free from this, but I had no idea how. And so I approached a really good, trusted friend. I unloaded my whole life, this whole situation that I was in. I, had, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to get out of it. And uh, my friend gave me this CD uh, about emotional health. As I listened to that CD, it felt like that pastor was talking straight at me. And that began this journey of understanding my, my interior life and, and, and bringing Jesus into that. So that was the beginning of my awareness of emotional health. There was about 12 years where I, I felt like I made significant progress in this area. During that time is when I was connected to New Life and a lot of the uh, practices, a lot of the, the sermons, the workshops that were happening at New Life were uh, significantly speaking to me. It was going well and then a significant thing happened to me where three years ago I lost my job. It was a sudden uh, loss and it was something that I wasn't expecting. It launched me into an existential crisis as, as I call it because I, I didn't know what to do. It took me a while to really uh, feel the emotion of, of what had happened. I felt the Lord's grace carry me through that period, but it wasn't long before I was left uh, in some ways alone and, you know, girls went to school, my wife went to work, and now I'm here with no job and trying to figure out what's next for my life. This moment of crisis of losing my job and not knowing what to do really forced me to look inwardly. I had to, uh, I had to feel some of these emotions. I, I felt angry. I felt sad. I, I, I didn't have any hope for my future. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Uh, what is my life now? I recognized that I had to start practicing some of these, uh, these disciplines and these practices that I had been exposed to. And that began this process of me spending time alone with God. And now I, I run pretty much daily. I spend, I, I've mixed that with my time alone with God in silence and contemplative prayer. Some of these monastic rhythms were really, really helpful for me. And in those spaces is where I felt the Lord was leading me to um, explore deeper to go deeper in my life. And I started looking at my family of origin. Why am I responding this way? Why am I dealing with some of these things that I thought I had already taken care of, that I thought I understood? And my story is in other stories. I imagine that there's multiple crisis moments. And I have found that each of those moments is an opportunity to go a little deeper. And so it's, it's not easy. And yet it is rewarding. And, and the reward for me is, is, is freedom. It's freedom to choose. It's freedom to, to live out. Uh, a life where I can love others, where I know I'm loved, I know I'm taken care of, and I can extend what I've received to others, to my wife, to my girls, to my neighbor, to my parents, to my family.